guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. In today's video, I'm gonna be comparing the Jetboil and the MSR Pocket Rocket. If you are new here, welcome to the Hike Oregon family. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you're interested in content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. And if you want more content from me, you can support me over on Patreon where for as little as just $1, you get two to three extra videos a month. Okay, let's get into the video. In a previous video, I have compared the MSR Pocket Rocket versus the BRS stove. They are much more comparable stoves in the sense that they look the same, they function the same. The Jetboil is kind of a different cook system, but it is also, like the MSR Pocket Rocket, extremely popular among backpackers. So I wanted to compare the two so that you could see which one would best fit your needs. Before I get into the cook test to see which one boils water faster, I just wanted to go over some specs with you. So the MSR Pocket Rocket is literally just the stove. It weighs 2.6 ounces and you pay $44.95. The jet boil comes with the pot and the stove and a little cup thing and a stand and all that it doesn't come with fuel. So all this weighs 13.1 ounces. Now there are different jet boils. There's, there's the jet boil mini, there's a bigger one. This one that I have compared, which is the same size as my uh, Pinnacle Soloist cook pot. So all this weighs 13.1 ounces. You can purchase it for $109.95, so basically $110. Now if you were to purchase the MSR Pocket Rocket and a little pot like the Pinnacle Soloist, the pot is $31.95, so together that would be $76.90, so still a little bit cheaper than the Jetboil. They both use Isopro fuel. Jetboil does make its own isopro fuel canisters but you can use basically any canisters they do recommend that you use the jet boil ones but it's not a must they definitely aren't available in every store so if you have to buy a different brand it's not the end of the world This is what the stove part looks like like I said it all fits into here you can Plop that down into there. If you have your fuel, you can put that in there. Your little stand can fit in there. And then you just put your lid on top. You'd put your lighter in there and stuff also. So it all fits very nicely into itself. I know this little bottom cup that kind of screws on here. I'm not sure it's super necessary. This cup does have some measurements on it, but so does the inside. So I don't see why this is necessary. You could probably toss this and be fine. It does kind of protect the little metal things down here, but like I said, I don't think this is super necessary. So then the stove kind of just clicks on here. Sometimes it can be a little awkward and a little bit tricky. You can get the jet boil with the push ignite. So then you basically just turn it on, push the button, and it ignites the flame. That way you don't have to carry a lighter. However, I have heard from quite a few people that have the push ignite that it has failed. So if you are not carrying a lighter and you're not with someone who is also carrying a lighter, uh, that could be a problem. Then you cannot light your stove. So even if you have the push ignite, I would still carry a little lighter or even just some matches or something that you can start your stove with just in case. I do like that it comes with the little feet uh, a lot of the time. The ground is not even, your pot can fall over really easily. So this just goes on the bottom of the fuel here. It just clicks into place and then you have a very, very, very secure tripod thing that you stick your stove on. And the pocket rocket folds up as well. You just put the arms 
down like so. They all kind of fold down like this and then you can just put this in a little tiny bag as well. This actually comes with like a little plastic container that you can put it in. The beauty about these stoves is that you can just Put it in your cook pot along with your fuel and your lighter and your cup and it all folds into the same thing. I'm going to use my cook pot here that I have. I am going to boil 16 ounces of water because that is usually what you boil if you are making water for coffee or for an instant meal. I'm going to crank it up as high as it can go and we are going to time it for both stoves and see which one cooks faster. So the MSR Pocket Rocket boiled water without the lid at two minutes and 42 seconds. The jet boil boiled water at 2 minutes and 21 seconds. Again, this is at 400 feet elevation. Okay, now that we've done the cook test, we can obviously see that the jet boil does, like its name suggests, boil water faster. The pocket rocket with a lightweight pot, like the Soloist, uh, there's some other lightweight uh, pots that are just a little bit more expensive. They are going to be lighter weight than the Jet Boil. And two more pros for the MSR pocket rocket is that you can use the pot of your choice. With this, you are obviously stuck with whatever size pot you purchase. Like I said, there's the Jet Boil Mini, there's a larger Jet Boil, they have like little frying pan attachments and stuff. You have to get the Jet Boil attachments, right? They all attach on to the stove like this. The MSR Pocket Rocket, I guess it depends on what pot you buy, but if you buy the Pinnacle Soloist, it is cheaper than the Jet Boil. Besides the fast water boiling time, another pro for the Jet Boil is the Push Ignite. It makes it so easy. You don't have to deal with flames. You don't have to deal with the lighter. Super awesome. Both options fold into themselves. They're very convenient, very easy to use. Like with every piece of gear, there are pros and cons to either. It just depends on what kind of backpacking you're doing. Are you through hiking? Do you have to go super ultralight? Or are you weekend backpacking? The jet boil, especially the one with the push start, is so great for winter time. If you are snowshoeing or winter backpacking, this is the way to go. Your hands are cold, you're probably wearing gloves, you don't want to fumble with a lighter, you don't want to fumble with folding out the little arms of your stove. All you have to do, let's say you have big gloves on, all you have to do is screw the stove on, screw this on, pour water in, push to start you're done. Let me know in the comments down below which stove you use, or if you're new to backpacking and you don't have a stove yet, I'd love to know which one you are going to purchase for your future trips. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you don't already follow me over on Instagram, that's where I post pictures of all of my recent hiking and backpacking adventures. And if you want to hike or backpack here in this amazing state of Oregon, check out my website, hikeoregon.net, and you'll find tons of info there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next adventure.